I'd like to give a special thank you to Angel Lopez for giving me this opportunity to do a sidewall hole repair and a pair of Yeezys once again. So we're going to go the extra mile on this one. And we're even going to replace the sock um, liners on the insoles themselves. You can see the hole was already fixed and replaced already. So let's move on to these sock liners and let me show you how to get these fresh and new again. Look at that. No more hole. Okay, so now onto these sock liners. First, you're gonna get yourself some acetone and totally saturate the whole insole and just peel off that old raggedy old dirty sock liner that was up there from before. And then we're gonna move on to cleaning it because you still wanna get rid of all the bacteria, all the old mildew, etc., etc. that's on the sock liner itself. Okay. So once you got those all cleaned up and you're satisfied with the look, the smell, et cetera, et cetera, then we can move on to get into the material to put on the insole itself. I'm choosing some velour for these because I think the Yeezys deserve, you know, something really, really special. So I'm putting on the glue. I'm making sure that um, I got it out nice and thin because you don't want it to seep through the back of the velour. So you don't want it to be too thick, just nice and thin. So that you're able to apply it to the velour and then we're gonna go flip it over. Okay, so now we're just gonna go get a pair of scissors and we're going to cut out the insole. But what's gonna happen at the end is gonna look a little like raggedy and shaggedy because it is velour and it's pretty tough to cut. So after you cut it out, what you wanna do is go get yourself a lighter okay and you're going to burn the edges to get rid of all the frayed edges and plus this is going to make it a lot easier for you to cut and trim the material even afterwards and it's going to give it a nice fresh clean look okay so finally towards the end you just go around with your um, plastic knife that i got from you know the regu kit you already know I'm just checking the edges to make sure that there's, you know, there's no detachments. If it is, I just use a knife to get in those real smooth. No areas untouched. Smooth it down and your insoles are finished. Okay, so finally moving on to the re-glue. I just got my re-glue kit here. I got my re-glue bottle. I'm applying the glue to the midsole and we're going to be applying some to the uppers to make sure that both areas have glue on them so that we get proper attachment after it's fully air dry um, also this one has some in the toe box so i'm going to be applying some glue to the toe box and we're going to wait 35 to 45 minutes come back and we're going to make our attachment stay tuned please follow me for more sneaker tips tricks and tutorials sneaker classes and more diy sneaker repair products my name is footprints and i'd like to thank you for watching all sneaker supplies and DIY sneaker restoration tools available on eBay. Links will be in the description or the comments. Thank you.